Come closer and let me tell you about this old town. Many centuries ago, curious minds gathered here from faraway lands across the globe in order to form a nation united under one great goal. All questions to be answered. Emissaries were sent far and wide to the very edges of the world asking questions and at great risk to their lives unraveling the answers. Some stayed behind to protect the infinite library where all knowledge is protected, while some found new ways to use that knowledge. They called themselves Trivians. So now you wish to join them. Heed first, my son, to this advice. First, choose your missions wisely. Not everything a Trivian searches for is an easy task. Start small, pick your battles. Second, if help is offered, accept it. You never know who might come to your rescue in the woods. Third, have fun. Being a Trivian means you enjoy learning and discovering, no matter the pain that comes with it. <clears throat> I've already said too much. Now, you start a new life in a new world, so go now and ask questions. Discover new treasures and unearth new knowledge. Trivians, the Trivian Metaverse that tests your knowledge and rewards it with treasure is coming soon. Hey, hey Khan. Hey Marwan. How's it going? Great. It's, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thank you. I'm glad. Thanks for joining. Welcome everyone who's tuning in, whether it's Twitter, YouTube or any other channel. Um, we're very excited for the special session that we've been planning for a long time. I've been eagerly uh, anticipating the launch of Trivians for a long time. Um, so thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, I'm sure there'll be many uh, jumping in soon as well uh, from all over the world um, and uh, for what I'm sure will be a really insightful uh, and engaging um, conversation with Khan. Um, so before we jump in, uh, it's probably great if Khan, if you can give us a proper introduction to what Trivians is, what we can expect, well, the story of it, and your own story uh, and what we can expect from the platform and then from there we can jump into maybe a little demo uh, so that people can uh, learn more about what you're building sure so <clears throat> let me begin with a brief introduction of myself uh, so thank you again for having me. i hope this uh, ama session will be useful for all of our community so uh, I'm 38 years old and I have been an entrepreneur for all my professional life, which is like 16 years. Uh, actually, I'm an electronics engineer and I graduated from the top engineering faculty in Turkey, in Middle East Technical University. I'm an, uh, also an award-winning serial entrepreneur. So I have been chosen as the entrepreneur of the year in Turkey in 2015. And same year, I was chosen by... Uh, top 10 innovators under 35 years old in Turkey by MIT Review uh, US edition. So right after uh, graduation, I founded my first company, which is called Vcount. It's an AI company and developing people, people counting hardware and software solutions for retail industry. Mm -hmm. So from uh, 2005 to, 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 to uh, 2013, I was the CEO of Vcount. Now Vcount is operating in five different countries and serving more than 50,000 locations across 120 countries. In 2013, I founded Onedio and transferred my CEO roles uh, to my co-founder in Vcount and fully focused on Onedio. And uh, Onedio became the largest social media platform of Turkey, like reaching 35 million monthly unique visitors, visitors and attracting investors like uh, EBRD from London and the Revo Capital from uh, Netherlands. In 2019, we have launched Oyna Kazan, uh, which means play to earn in Turkish, uh, mm -hmm. as a money reward trivia game within uh, Onedio. And we spinned it out in 2021 to focus on uh, blockchain gaming under the name of Trivians, which we are here for. Uh, again, in 2020, we have launched a, a video, uh, retail, video first uh, online marketplace and sold it to Getir which is uh, a decacorn uh, born in Turkey as well. So uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm a serial entrepreneur and I still yeah, many, many successful ventures. 
Yeah, I still hold equity at all of these companies, and we have more than 500 employees across uh, four continents. So mm -hmm. um, before jumping into the project, I want to show you a video uh, which will sum what we are doing uh, briefly. So, uh, okay. Payana, can, yeah. can you play yeah. the video? Let's go. People are keen to learn more. Yeah. So it's... Uh, Tiana, Tiana, uh, Tiana here. There we go. Yeah. That's lovely. So, as you can see, it's very straightforward. The value proposition is so simple and everyone uh, is used to this kind of uh, shows from their uh, childhood. So, yeah. Trivia is the ultimate trivia and puzzle gaming platform for play mm -hmm. turn uh, uh, ecosystem. Uh, mm -hmm. The token and the idea has been culminated from a three years old play to earn trivia game, which is named Oina Kazan as, uh, and trivia superstars, as I said before, uh, with more than 5 million downloads. Uh, and at its peak, uh, we have 1.5 million monthly active users. Uh, it was a, it still is a very uh, successful game. So our concurrent yeah. user record was 350,000 people. So we made 350,000 players compete at the same time and mm -hmm. delivered 50,000 US dollars as rewards. So yeah. this assures Trivian's game and uh, the team, of course, has already delivered a huge proof of concept on uh, democratization and decentralization of Trivia game, game show business. So yeah. Trivian is a multiplayer game it awards players with trivia token according to their correct answers at different game modes and competitions. So like yeah. it's a decentralized version of classical game shows like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, like Geoparty. Yeah. So now it's our players' turn to make money with their uh, knowledge. So uh, actually, uh, the concept is very easy to adopt globally and the market is huge. So. Like even like 15 years old high school students to 70, 70 year old uh, retired people, they they play trivia. They know the concept, and people already get used, already used to earn money from their knowledge at the television shows. But only a few people can compete. Now we are bringing to this uh, everyone, and we believe with an estimated. Um, market size of like nearly 2 billion players, Trivians wants to become the first blockchain game which successfully onboards non-crypto users and goes truly uh, mainstream. So this yeah. is the, the project. This is me. So I'm waiting for yeah. your questions. For sure. I mean, we're, we're, there's a lot to unpack. Um, I think it's very exciting that you're building a very Web3 native uh, game in the trivia space, which, as you said, I think for everyone that's tuning in, yourself, myself, we've, we've all, we all grew up with some form of a trivia game, watching it on TV or yes. you know, in the UK, people play it in the local pub or whatever it may be. So it's, it's very much part of kind of a, a very global culture. But I'm curious to know, like, wh which trivia games did you play? Or like, were you a big trivia fan growing up? Is that, was that like an underlying motivation before all of this uh, kick started a few years ago? Yeah, actually, I've been a gamer for all my life, and yeah. trivia genre is a very special genre for me. So I was a geek child. So yeah. uh, I was like, I grew, grew up like within encyclopedias, like yeah. memorizing flags, memorizing capital cities of the world. Like, you, you know, this kind of people. I was one of them. Yeah. So trivia was a, a passion for me. That's why I have invested a lot of my time and money to yeah. decentralize and democratize the business. So why is everyone like, why only a few selected people can, is making money? Like yeah. all, everyone can, any, anywhere, anytime they can monetize their knowledge. So we want to enable this. Because like trivia genre, uh, like with money reward, it's mm -hmm. a very unique genre. Like only 
a few types of games gives money as rewards. So most of the games do not give money as rewards. Like only casino games like blackjack, slot machines, they, yes, they give money. Uh, or sports betting. You have fun while like making those bets or you have fun playing casino games. At the end, yep. you make money. It's only trivia that makes the same. Like only casino games, sports betting, and trivia games where you can have fun and make money. So the yeah. first two is like gambling, chance, uh, ours is not. So uh, I'm very excited yeah. uh, to make it global. Amazing. And so, yeah, no, you're right. It's, it's not chance. It's, 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 it's knowledge that is nurtured over time, right, by people in, the, in different parts of the world. And it's like, like people like yourself, perhaps, who, who were learning the different capitals of different countries uh, growing up. I think maybe you have a, a, a good advantage there when it comes to geography trivia, but I'm sure there, there are other topics as well for everyone to, to play and, and, uh, and earn in. Um, there's, well, we'll talk about the earnings side and like the sustainability of that as a business model mm -hmm. later. But I think just to, to kick off, obviously there is, you know, for those who aren't familiar, this is a Web3 native story. But before the launch of Trivians on DNB chain, there was a Web2 story. As you said, you built a very successful game that built mm -hmm. a you know, community of, over five, of about 5 million people who are using this game. So I'm keen to learn more about, you know, that story of... Um, you know, how you decided to transition from Web 2, which is what most people are familiar with around the world, to Web 3, and, and why you saw the potential of Web 3 as, as the best place to build this game. So, like, as you said, we have launched in Turkey in uh, 2019, and we have uh, made global tests in emerging countries such as Nigeria, Argentina, Indonesia, Philippines, yeah. and we have seen very good results. And as you also mentioned, we have attracted more than 5 million people come and play the game so that they can like compete, learn something new, socialize with other people. We, even, we have even seen people get introduced and got married within the game. So... Uh, like, as you said, we were on Web2, but we, we were unhappy with a couple of uh, things. First, uh, we were already uncomfortable with Apple's and Google's in-game purchase commissions, which is above, like, 40% of all revenues, uh, of mm -hmm. in, including the tax. So nearly half of the revenue coming from the in-game purchases were going to Apple and Google instead of the community. Mm -hmm. So it was very uh, disturbing because, like, we are... We support uh, rewards with in-game purchases, which are like power-ups, jokers. Like, uh, for example, you, you remember, like, there's a ask to the audience uh, joker that holds a millionaire or 50-50 uh, joker, which eliminates two wrong answers. So we have these kind of jokers within the game. And like mm -hmm. all 40% commission were going to Apple and Google. And also, uh, since we were like distributing rewards for uh, with money uh, the only way to do it in web 2 was like uh, either use a payment uh, system like uh, paypal or just send the money to people's bank accounts so we have made it and of course most of the people want wants the money to their bank account so we have sent money to more than 80 countries and mm -hmm. the least uh, commissions were like five to six dollars per transaction. So, like people, most of our gamers are like uh, students, young professionals, especially teachers. Uh, so they want additional income with their uh, knowledge and intellectual property. So when they get like fifty dollars or thirty dollars, when they want to cash out their money, they pay six to seven dollars just yeah. for like Swift uh, commissions. So yeah. like uh, our name was already like Oinakazan means play to earn. And then the crypt, uh, play to earn concept in uh, blockchain has emerged. And we were like, oh, we were already building this game for yeah. blockchain. Huh? So let's move to blockchain. <laughs> that's, that's how we decided to go all uh, into the blockchain. And yeah, we are. I'm very happy to announce that our, our game will be live on uh, Apple's uh, App Store and Google's Play Store uh, as early as next week. So Amazing. Uh, that's, yeah, big. That's, that's big. We're going to have to push that out uh, to the community. 
So next week, live on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Yes, definitely. Amazing, amazing. So um, yeah, just kind of hear what you said. I, I think, I mean, this is a topic that a lot of people talk about, right? When they think about the pain points of Web2 for all its um, benefits, um, why the potential Web3 is, is so applicable to, I mean, all sorts of sectors, but in this case, gaming, right? Um, when you're thinking about the sustainability of the business, but also um, the best, delivering the best user experience for players here who want to play it and they're not getting charged on what they have rightfully earned themselves. Um, so I think that, that that makes a lot of a lot of sense. But also crazy that you came up in Turkish, uh, at least at the beginning, in terms of the the brand. Um, you know, with this play to earn um, concept before Web three really. Yes. Uh, the the funny thing, I own the trademark for play to earn in Turkish. So every really? blockchain game in Turkey who wants to use that phrase needs play to pay. To earn. <laughs> So play to earn, basically, yeah, if, if you want to do play to earn in Turkey, they have to talk to you because... You know, yeah, yeah, definitely. You own the, own the term. Um, well, that's that's very forward thinking of you at the time. So um, I think great timing now that you're launching uh, uh, the Web3 version um, of, of this kind of play and learn uh, to earn game. So I'm very curious, though. So obviously, Web3 is big, um, as everyone knows. How did you go about thinking, or how did you go about deciding to choose to build on BNB chain? And, and could you tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. So, um, as I said, our target audience, our target market is nearly 2 billion people. That's huge. Yep. So, and we expect, like, uh, we are going to onboard lots of Web2 users to Web3. And mm -hmm. when we decided to go into crypto and looked at the environment, we just realized that we need a sustainable ecosystem with lots of players, lots of developers, and of yeah. course, a proven technology. And mm -hmm. BNB chain was the uh, place to go to do it because like, we need lots of uh, integrations, we will onboard lots of players, so we need, we will have lots of uh, volume in the chain, yeah. so the chain must support it. And also, the, like as I said, uh, the utilities, the third-party integrations, like it's a very rich ecosystem that we can yeah. partner up with lots of good projects. That's why we yeah. chose the MB chain, and up to date, we are very happy uh, with our choice. We're glad, we're glad. Yeah, no, you're right. I think it's, especially for, for such a, a game like this where network effects are, are so important, where community is so important. You know, we want people playing together, um, I guess also competing as well for the top prize. Um, you need that, that depth of the market. You know, we need a large community, which obviously we're very excited that BNB Chain uh, has that. And also, as you said, you know, if you want to hit 100 million, a billion and beyond, um, the scalable architecture and infrastructure yes. that allows that for, for all the integration. So um, I think that it's, it's always it's always refreshing to kind of hear that from um, from a founder. Also, you know, especially that you you've also built this in the Web two world um, and to kind mm -hmm. of um, build it natively on BNB chain, I think is um, is great. Um, I'm curious, going back to the the, the roots of the company, whether the, the Web three version of or the Web two, you, you touched on this as well, like the, the decentralized aspect, but how would you describe the core values of, of Trivians? And how would you describe the, the unique differences of Trivians, perhaps even from a cultural standpoint versus other blockchain games or, or how you think mm -hmm. about it? Um, yeah, we have talked about this, like, like it's a native play to earn game. Like everyone, is, is get, uh, everyone knows the concept very well. So it's very easy to tell uh, people what we are doing. Like we are not telling them, okay, you should buy this NFT, connect this Met MetaMask to your wallet, uh, play with your NFT, earn tokens, go sell them. Blah. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a huge information uh, for uh, non-crypto users. So our yes. unique value proposition for our players is uh, very straightforward. Earn token for each question you answer correctly. So our core value proposition is democratizing the money of our trivia game show business and enable everyone to monetize their knowledge on certain topics. For example, yeah. are you into Harry Potter? Are you an expert on Game of Thrones TV series? Or are yeah. you a fan of NBA or Champions League or Premier League? So why don't you 
come and compete and monetize your expertise, intellectual property on certain topics. So uh, these are our core values and unique selling uh, points of Trivians, which, as I said, very straightforward, very easy to understand and targeting hundreds of millions of players across the globe, from China to Russia, from India to Argentina. So uh, it's yeah. a huge opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And I can see already here from the comments, we've got a pretty global audience. We've got Canada in a room, Germany, um, parts of Asia as well. Um, welcome, everyone, um, you know, who are tuning in from, from many different parts of the world. And I'm sure Turkey as well. I can't see in the comments here, but I'm sure we have people in Turkey uh, as well who are, who are joining. So, so welcome. Um, I think a, a big point of debate in, in the industry, and I think uh, of interest to people, is kind of the sustainability, right? Uh, what makes a best-in-class project um, great for end users, but also great for the ecosystem that it contributes to, is um, oh we yeah we've got Turkey in the house as well. Um, I can see in the comments now. What what is really important is sustainability. So we'd love I'd love to learn more about how you think about the sustainability of of how people earn in this game. So if you can walk us through that in, in some detail, I think that would be really um, insightful. Sure. So um, unlike all other uh, play to earn games, we have started in Web two. So like sustainability was the first and most important thing uh, in order not to lose money because we are like uh, paying out real cash rewards to people. So in Web2, uh, you have to fund it by in-app purchases because like mm -hmm. uh, you cannot sell NFTs or your tokens to investors. So most of the crypto games like uh, give investors money to players as rewards. But in our game, we distribute other players' money uh, to the winning players. Mm -hmm. So um, all rewards distributed to players are backed by real in-game purchases uh, mm -hmm. done by other players. So our purchasable items are like entrance tickets. So we yep. have two routes. Like first is pay to play, second one is free to play. So at pay to play, you have to buy attendance tickets to uh, join the game. For example, when there are 1,000 players in a day and the entrance ticket fee is like 10 trivia, the total reward to be distributed uh, that day is 9,500 trivia after our 5% uh, commission. We have yes. to make profits right, to make sustainable. So yeah. when there are, for example, 10 million players in a day and assuming each one of them like bought a ticket, the, that day's total reward will be 95 million uh, trivias. So mm. uh, like our pay to play rewards are backed by those ticket fees. Like it's yes. uh, like entrance fee. And at, we have also free to play mode, like, which means you don't have to pay for anything. You just can jump into the game and start answering questions and make money. But uh, then you'll see lots of ads, like uh, mm. sponsored questions. For example, like I will uh, make a deal with BNB chain and I'll say uh, to you, Marvin, I will um, show a specific question for you, which is promoting BNB chain, and I will show it to 5 million different people. So that's mm. the fee for this. So mm. when I collect the fee from you, I give it as reward to the players. Also, we have automated ads, like you have seen, uh, like the ones you have uh, you see in your mobile uh, games, like rewarded mm -hmm. ads. That also funds uh, these free-to-play routes. Uh, so uh, the sustainability is very criti critical. We made all of our business plans on uh, in-game purchases, on on strategic partnerships, ad partnerships. We don't lean on investors' money, so we expect no inflation in tokens value. That's mm -hmm. very important. So just yeah. So from what I'm here. So by the way, for the community, we're not running ads. BMPCH isn't running ads on the on the platform. But I think it's a very good example that there, there are two major opportunities here in terms of sustainability. It's it's from the end users who are contributing and also getting rewards from this who who participate to the sustainability of the ecosystem. But it's also for um, business partnerships across the board who uh, can, can help with the sustainability of it all. And ultimately the benefit is the game can last 
uh, and and the players, the participants, like everyone here, like ourselves, can can play um, and enjoy those rewards sustainably. So I think that that makes a lot of sense, um, which is great. Yes, is definitely. Great. Um, and I think is that just lastly on, on sustainability is that obviously you thought a lot about it is was that a concern when you looked at um uh, other some games or, or or other industries like from the web 2 space i mean how, how how did you think about building this from from scratch the sustainability part because maybe maybe one route was to build this and not think about sustainability from the get-go but you made the very deliberate decision to bake it in from the get-go um, yes, as I said, uh, we, uh, we started uh, Triviance uh, with my own money. Like yeah. I have invested nearly one million US dollars into the company and we have used it for like user acquisitions and also for the rewards. So, uh, for example, as one competition that we have uh, like 350,000 people playing at the same time, like free to enter, mm -hmm. the rewards is like... Uh, 50,000 US dollars and like if you can make it to top uh, 10,000 you make mm -hmm. your first for example five dollars when yep. you make it to top thousand you make another ten dollars and if you can make it to top 10 you will make two hundred dollars and if you if you are the last man standing you'll get the big price which is like 25,000 US dollars so the total reward the rewards was like nearly 60,000 US dollars, but all in uh, power up sales, like Joker sales, like extra life. We got three types of power ups that you can uh, use within the game, which is like one is like you can pass the question, like you go to the next question automatically. Or if you give the wrong answer, you can use your extra life, or mm -hmm. like you can eliminate one wrong answer to the, uh, from the choices. So, but you can use all these jokers only once in a game because, yep. like, there have they, they, there must be a balance as well. So, while giving up like sixty thousand US dollars of rewards, we have collected more than one hundred thousand US dollars of revenues uh, mm. by uh, power up sales. Okay. So, uh, of course, forty percent goes to the commissions to Google and Apple. Yeah. <laughs> 60, <laughs> So 60% goes to the community. We make no money, but <laughs> the community is uh, Out of it, so. happy and uh, it's fully self-sustainable. So if we, can, if we cannot make this self-sustainable in, in Web2, we should have to pay for all these rewards from our pockets. So it was very crucial for us to make the game sustainable. And we made all the... Uh, in-game mechanics, in-game uh, economy, like prices of the jokers, everything is uh, very critically created by professional uh, economists. Yeah. In-game yeah. economists. Yeah. So it's, uh, I mean, it's very clear, right? That the mission of being like more inclusive, more decentralized, bringing trivia gaming experiences and the rewards to a much larger community. That is super yes. clear. And building off the momentum that you have and had in Web2 very successfully, I think, um, is, is very exciting. And in doing, it, doing it on a platform like BNB Chain that has that large community and that infrastructure, it makes it very compelling as well. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious. Obviously, you have this huge community in Web2. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell us about how you're bringing them on, on this journey and, and migrating them to Web3? Could you, is there anything you can share with us there? Um, sure. And also, what are you doing for the new users who, who are obviously learning about Trivins for the first time? So, first, we are going to focus on our uh, existing user base, like which who have played our game for money, which is more than 5 million people. So, we have like mobile phone numbers and like emails for of all those uh, players. So, they're already waiting for us to launch the game in crypto because we paused the game uh, like. Uh, last year, when we decided to move into crypto, we paused to uh, give real cash rewards because, like, we are switching to crypto. We must focus on that, <clears throat> and they are now waiting for us for the last <clears throat> year. And now we are going to onboard them. Like, we are going to send SMSs, send emails. We are going to retarget them on Facebook and Google and tell them, okay, Trivians is 
uh, Oyuna Kazan is back with, with the name of Trivian. So come and uh, make money because like I was taking lots of emails and messages from our community. For example, like uh, I got <coughs> messages from teachers. So I, I'm a teacher in a uh, village school. Like you are giving me fun, also additional income. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Like these kind of letters I have received yeah. a lot. Real life stories. So, Yeah, real life stories. Like it's really good to touch people's lives. Like make them, yeah. uh, help them make uh, additional link up income with their intellectual properties. Like we also call this game like learn to earn because as long as you know more, you will make more money. So when you see there is a competition about world geography, uh, for example, this Sunday with big rewards, mm -hmm. you should uh, get a geography book or do some <laughs> research. Yeah. And, uh, learn something new so that you can compete uh, yeah. uh, well. So uh, we, are, we are going to target our existing user base first. And of course, we are going to add more users on top of it. So we have a very, very professional uh, digital marketing team. So one of our backers, uh, investors, which is called Technacion, and they are the creator of uh, more than... Uh, 20 mobile phone, mobile apps, which has reached more than 3 billion downloads across the globe. So wow. we are, so there are our investors and they have a dedicated digital marketing team. So the video I showed you, like actually a user acquisition video that tells the concept very easily. We shoot all of those uh, shots uh, within our offices mm -hmm. and we are like optimizing our user acquisition cost with these kind of shows. For example, we are targeting uh, Harry Potter funds on Facebook yeah. and show them Harry Potter ads. So you want to monetize your Harry Potter or we are targeting like supporters of Liverpool. So we want to monetize your Liverpool knowledge, history knowledge. So yeah. we, we make micro-targeted uh, digital marketing campaigns and we received... Uh, we already tested all those and we received amazing results. For example, we can like acquire users from United States, United Kingdom for as low as uh, 80 cents. Uh, mm -hmm. And third tier countries such as Turkey, India, Philippines, we can acquire users for as low as 5 cents. And from our, since we are launching in three languages, in Turkish, in Spanish and in English, So now, from day zero, we are we will be targeting all English, Spanish, and Turkish-speaking people in the world with those kind of ads. So we yep. expect we will reach more than 500,000 um, active users at the end of uh, month one. So uh, we all plan this. We have the required budgets for digital marketing, and we will say... In one month, we are the fastest growing blockchain game ever, like acquiring half a million, more than half a million users within just one, one month. Sorry, I'm back. Sorry, I didn't mean to do my internet cut off. Can oh, you you're, you're, oh, I'm if, back. Okay. If everyone uh, heard me, I think we're good. no problem. No problem. I think we're good. I was, Sorry. I was, Tech difficulties. This this is what happens with yeah. any. Um, yeah, it so, happens all the time. Um, no, but you're saying so. Obviously, targeting and, and you know people who I mean English speakers, Spanish speakers, Turkish community uh, speakers, those communities. I mean, you're covering a huge part of the world very quickly from from day zero. So, so that, that's yes. what you're saying. Yes, as I said, like we want to say, like we are the fastest growing blockchain game ever. So we yeah. will push for it. We will push for it. You'll see trillions a lot in media. That's, Believe me. I love that ambition. And I, I love how you bring it to a huge community from, from the get-go. So I think yeah. that's, that's really exciting. And um, so I think what, as, you, as you bring those Web2 users, you'll also be pushing, kind of bringing new Web3 users as, as, as well. Um, who, yes. who want to and we, Yes, we do not require any Web3 knowledge to play the mm -hmm. game. You just can enter the game, game and uh, like buy entrance tickets or power-ups with your credit cards or in-game purchases. Of course, mm -hmm. if you buy them with your tokens, it will be cheaper. So you will be able to transfer your tokens when you like, you will buy the tokens from an exchange, trivia tokens. You will transfer them to your in-game wallet. You will play with them. You will like win more tokens and you will be able to cash to, uh, withdraw 
uh, to an exchange as well. So uh, in order to play, you don't need any Web3 integration or knowledge. But while cashing out, you have to have a wallet on an exchange or on your own. So no. like entrance barriers are very low for players. And when they are cashing out, they will find the way to uh, open an account on an exchange. So that's why we believe that we will bring a lot of non-crypto users uh, to uh, crypto game. Because in a simple game, we can just give rewards to 10,000 different people, like $5 yeah. each, $6 each. But so yeah. those, among those 10,000 people, they will, like 95% of them will open an account. So you yeah. will see lots of new users uh, on BNB chain, hopefully. Yeah. And also just yeah, just more 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 users, I think, learning about Web3 or beginning to see the benefits of it um, in a way that is very simple, I think, is is exciting. I think um, there are already a lot of people who have, who have seen the benefits of the ecosystem, but I think the more we can bring you know new experiences, more sustainable um, projects uh, and gaming experiences, I think, uh, the better for everyone. Um, so uh, you, you talked quite a bit about, um, you know, the in-app purchases where, where people can buy the power-ups, the jokers, so on and so forth. Uh, we're curious to know more about the utility of the trivia token itself, um, which I know, um, you know, is, is had its launch already. Uh, but Keen, so if you could just walk us through how you think about the utility of this token uh, for, for people who may um, engage with it. Sure. So actually, we are a, a trivia metaverse, like we mm -hmm. call it. Like it's a platform for lots of trivia games. So there will be like word games, there will be like mind games, there will be knowledge games, culture games, there will be game modes that you can compete with your friends one to one, challenge yep. them, or you uh, like compete within a team, like five person team versus five person team, or you can compete against like a uh, massive uh, number of uh, competitors, like uh, 350,000 people that we made compete at, at simultaneously at the same time. So there will be lots of games, lots mm -hmm. of game modes that you can pick for yourself. There will be like true false questions. There will be image questions. There will be video questions, lots of, lots of different stuff. So in order to attend these games and earn more, you need tickets to attend these games and those tickets are sold in trivia coins so the okay. main utility of our trivia coin is like attending games so we don't plan to provide uh, utilities outside our game uh, outside outside our metaverse so we do not think about like staking getting more uh, trivias for stake trivia so we are not a finance uh, startup no. So we are a gaming startup. So all the utilities will be used in game. So at those different kind of games, you will be able to buy different kind of power-ups. Yeah. So as, as I said, like there are like uh, three types of power-ups at the moment. But in, when we introduce new game modes at new, uh, according to our roadmap, for example, there will be a, there will be a game mode where you, you compete against time. So yep. there will be a power-up that you can extend your time. So those power-ups will be also uh, bought by uh, Trivia token. And we are going to introduce NFT series to the game. So in our metaverse, everyone is playing like a Trivian. Trivian yep. is the race of our uh, humanity in okay. Trivian's world. So... Uh, you can you will be able to buy uh, NFT avatars, for example, an engineer avatar, which will double your earnings, for example, at science and technology questions. Or if you buy a like explorer avatar, it will double your earnings on uh, world geography questions. Or Got we it. will uh, we will introduce NFT items as well, which will act like power ups. For example, a glass NFT. We, eyeglasses NFT will reveal one wrong answer at each competition per day, for example. So yeah. there will be lots of in-game items uh, that you can, our players will be uh, using trivia, trivia tokens uh, as utility. Yep. So it's basically, so just, just if I understood that correctly, so for myself, if I'm a big geography uh, you know, guy and, and you know, my friends, some of my friends are as well, 
Wh which Trivian NFT sort of personality would I be going for um, to help? Yes, the, the Explore NFT. Yeah, explore. The explore, I mean, yeah, explore. That, there will be a limited number of Explore NFTs, maybe yeah. 100, maybe 1,000. So the lucky ones who uh, get them will double their earnings on Ge world geography questions oh, and uh, okay. it's an investment because like yeah. it will stay in the game and it will uh, like you will when you are bored on the game from the game you can sell your nft to other gamer there will be a huge yeah. demand these nfts will also be listed in nft marketplaces as well not just within the game uh, what what sort of nft category or like uh, so you mentioned explorer for geography what sort of other examples will be available for people to to um purchase if they if they if it feels like we, we have like we have lots of different categories like from tv to netflix from like uh space to mathematics to physics lots of right. lots of different categories so each category will have its own uh, yep. various char characters like female mm -hmm, yeah. characters male characters they will also good will look very good artistically so you yeah. will also want to want them to hang Maybe hang on your walls as a <laughs> as an art piece. Yeah, yeah, like the one behind you now. <laughs> in the future, uh, it'll be, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> or your your NFT um, in yeah. the game. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, cool. I I want to leave time for questions from the community because I've seen some questions that have come in already. Uh, some we've already covered, but maybe you know it's always good to clarify um, just for the community. Maybe some people have have you know joined a little bit late uh, for those who have joined in late we're talking about the launch of trivians uh, a brand new web3 uh, play and learn uh, earn game based on trivia knowledge um, that's really sustainable um, and that comes with a, a very rich history and momentum from the web2 world um, where they had five million users so for those tuning in um, you know welcome uh, so some questions that people have mentioned uh, you know, there are some people who are using the Trivia Superstar app today mm -hmm. uh, and will be migrating to the kind of pure Web3 native Trivians mm -hmm. game. So what happens to the points that they may have earned from that game? Is that something yeah. you're on today? Yeah, the game is uh, resetting. Like, keep your Trivia Superstar app. It will update. It will be updated automatically on 30th of August. Uh, we expect if something extraordinary does not happen and 30 of august uh, the okay. update uh, the app will be updated automatically and you'll see trivians but uh, no uh, points will be converted uh, to new profiles but of course we'll have some gifts for our existing users so okay. they will receive some gifts but not a direct transfer of the points to trivia token and that is there. An, has that official announcement already gone live, or will there be an official announcement coming out to explain that conversion? Uh, we will give the official like, announcement in our Discord channel and uh, in our Twitter channel to our existing gamers, and they will also see the announcement within the game. Got it. So yeah, for the for those who are already playing, who have who already are very familiar, you know, keep an eye on on the Discord on the Twitter uh, channels as as, as well. Um, so I know we already touched on it uh, before, but there's another question. There's some questions here about, you know, participating in the game where it's, you know, paid or, or free. Uh, I know it's both, but do you want to just give a quick recap on that for the ones who, who missed uh, that section of the, the live stream on being able to, to play participate for free or being able to pass pay by paying? Yes. Um, if I can share my uh, screen, yeah. I will also just yeah. show... Yes, I believe you can. Um, Tiana, I know you're here in the, with us. If it's uh, is it, can everyone see yeah. it? Yeah, do you want to put it on yeah. play mode? There we go. Yeah. So as you can see at the left mod, leftmost uh, side, like we have three modes, modes. Like play now mode, like it's 20 players, it's 10 questions. There is an entrance fee to the play now mode. So you hit play now and you wait other 19 players to come and you start to compete with all those 20 players. Uh, so it's, uh, it requires an entrance fee uh, or a ticket. At special events, they may be by ticket or they may be free. We will definitely have lots of free games uh, within the day, which gives like free tickets, which gives free uh, tokens, which gives free power-ups. 
So like you can uh, follow those events and register in a game and we will send you a push notification when the game starts. So special events are scheduled games. Like at every day at 7 p.m. Uh, there is a big game which is like limited to 10,000 people maybe. And like at the uh, bottom, there is like win coins for uh, 10 correct answers. That's free to play. That's uh, like ad supported. Uh, and it's single player. So you can just train yourself with uh, questions. You can learn something new and you can also make money. Of course, uh, when compared to uh, pay to play com competitions, the rewards will be much lower, obviously but uh, it will give you uh, tokens and it will give you fun. I don't, there we go. Am I? Uh, yeah, maybe you wanna, oh, you might need to stop sharing. There yeah. we go. Um, cool, cool. I think we have time for, oh wait, let me just double check. Um, all right, so one, just, oh, I'm gonna keep it for two, two more questions. One, well, actually, yeah. So the dates, people wanna know when you know, the date of the official launch. So um, what can you share? It's 30th, 30th of August, like next week, Tuesday, uh, we are aiming to launch the game. Uh, so it looks like we are ready, uh, but we will uh, first, in order to train people, we will not enable some kind of mods. Uh, so we will like introduce them by one by one, but beginning from Tuesday, you will be able to play the game and make money. Brilliant. So next Tuesday, save the date, 34th of August, put it in your diary. Um, there's, a, there's a big game launch coming. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, another question we, we also have is um, around the kind of, yeah, security. So obviously security is very important you know, no matter what, mm -hmm. Web3, Web2. Um, and I know you've been thinking quite deeply as a team about how to ensure mm -hmm. the most secure experience. Can, can you share more about, about that? Yeah, sure. I'm Actually, I'm very happy to uh, receive this question because we have spent a lot of time on security. Uh, first, like, uh, there's in-game security. So uh, since our game is, like, a, mostly a skill-based game, uh, the bots or uh, bots cannot compete with humans because like answering questions and uh, like understanding images, like a bot cannot do that. But in a shooter game, a bot can play, uh, a cheater can play better than uh, most of the humans. But in our game, bots cannot be involved. But we also have uh, anti-cheat, anti-hack, anti-bot protection system. So for example, our question security is very, uh, important. So all of our questions are encrypted in the cloud, but the devices does not hold the questions, so no one knows which question will come as the first question, as the second question, as the third question. It's all picked randomly by our algorithms. So it's mm -hmm. it's a must because like editorial team is preparing those questions. So we have a very distributed editorial team who does not know each other. So they all they prepare the question and they give. And like no one knows which questions comes up when, to which people, to at what game. And also there are like uh, security option uh, procedures during the checkout. For example, we have partnered up with PayPal and we told them that we are trying to democratize the game show business. We are trying to send money to people everywhere in the world. So they asked us, how can we make sure that you are not money laundering? For example, you are sending Marwan 50,000 US dollars because he is very good at geography. But <laughs> how do we know he actually played the game and earned that money? So they have went through of all our old cash out procedures, all our GitHub codes, all our security audits. And they made a KYC and a legal and security audit uh, with uh, us for six months it took six months and they give us all uh, uh, access to partner up with paypal and its ecosystem so we are bulletproof in terms yeah. of security and uh, anti-hack anti-cheat system within the game and in smart contracts we have been audited uh, by hacken and we have received perfect score 
Uh, so we are doing our best uh, yeah. on smart contract security as well. Great, great. Yeah, no, I, I completely hear you that security, it, it's one, it's building it at the foundations and it's an ongoing culture, an ongoing exercise, continuously optimizing and improving. And um, I, I, I can hear that you're definitely taking a, a very multifaceted approach, the smart contracts, uh, the payments, the the bots, like there, there are so many different dimensions to this. And I, I think it's yes. uh, refreshing to hear that as a culture, as a company, you're you you have this very much yeah because we, we we really have seen the worst because when money is at stakes people do lots of stuff yeah. lots of cheating and we have like experienced lots of stuff so that like it's like a combination of three years of uh, pay to play experience on security mm -hmm. so we are yeah. uh, very proud with our security protocols yeah yeah, great to hear. Great to hear. Uh, there, there's a lot of a lot of questions coming in. I'm mindful of time. There is, there's one. There, if, I think two questions. Um, I think that, that people are interested in. One is, um, are is everyone? Let's say we have people in Turkey. We have people in Indonesia, Britain, mm -hmm. US. Are we all competing on the same questions, or is any of this localized to where we are? Oh, yeah, great question. Uh, we have different modes, as I said. So uh, when we first launch, all people will uh, compete in uh, similar rooms, in same rooms. So but if you are based in Turkey, you will see the question in Turkish. You, if, for example, the question is, uh, what, who is the director of like Lord of the Rings? So if you are based in uh, Argentina, you see the same question in Spanish. If you are based in Nigeria, you will see the question in English. If you are based in Turkey, you see the question in Turkish. So everyone will be able to see the question in their own language. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will add like Russian, Arabic, Chinese at the, until the end of the, the year uh, to cover up the most spoken uh, languages in the world. So the questions are like global questions. So we do not ask like, who is this 70th president of Nigeria or Turkey? Those, we do not, we are not asking those kind of localized questions. All the questions will be about like world geography, world history, Champions League, arts, music, culture, but global culture. But afterwards, we will introduce localized competitions. For example, a localized, localized competition for Turkey localized competition for Nigeria community or localized competition for Indian communities, we, which we will create uh, localized questions. And other people, uh, we will, will not be able to see them. Only Turkish-speaking people will see Turkish Turkish specific com uh, competitions. Yeah, no, no, amazing. So basically, I think, I think from what... The game is, you know, in, lowering the barriers to entry for people to participate in trivia and the rewards that you get from it. And it's giving people a chance to either play at a global level on global knowledge or in time also on very localized knowledge. And some people will be great at one, they may be great at both or, or, or one or the other. So I think that's, uh, that's really exciting. And then just last question. Obviously, this is very much all built in mind for the community, for those who are already playing it, for the ones who will join. Um, and the BNB chain community as well. Uh, how, beyond just playing and participating in the game itself, can they suggest questions over time? Is that something that you've considered? Uh, I think that's, yeah. that's what we have here in the group. So, yeah, actually, we, yeah, actually, we have done it, and it's uh, it's very fun. So we asked our uh, community that shoot a video of yourself at a landmark uh, in front of a la landmark in your city and ask where you are. So mm -hmm. we received thousands of videos from different parts of Turkey, from our players. And we use those questions, like people asking, where am I standing at? Which statue is this? So we will yeah. do it globally. And we will, of course, reward them with uh, trivia tokens. It's both fun and it enriches the content of the game and it's, it's community generated. I think it's amazing and it, it fits our, uh, game perfectly. So we will definitely do that. I'll do one from, uh, well, I'm not going to say where it is actually, from from my city. 
in, <laughs> in time. And I'll, I'll pick like a less famous statue maybe to make it look okay. <laughs> Um But, uh, but yeah, we, we look forward to seeing the, the opportunities to, to do things like that. Um, I think I do want to end on a, because uh, you did tell me this once before, on this, uh, I, I think it's kind of funny, but and, and kind of special as well, like the, the the marriage love story from your community. In the yeah. past. People have earned, I mean, people have played and enjoy the game. People have made, have earned additional income uh, sustainably. Uh, and people have also, I guess, found their partner. So <laughs> this is uh, yes. no, no promise to anyone who's tuning in that you have, <laughs> that will happen, but I think it's kind of crazy that you know, it says a lot about the, the strength of the community. So we'd love to hear close on that on that question. Yeah. So uh, we have a chat function to, within the game, so people can chat with each other through the game. And we also have a Discord community where people can uh, like compete in groups or they can help each other. So mm -hmm. before even all those gaming guilds emerged in uh, blockchain ecosystem, our players have. Uh, created their own guilds. For example, a physics teacher finds a history teacher and then they find another teacher uh, who covers uh, all the stuff and they play uh, together in the same room or they can help each other. So one or two of our players have got introduced through the chat and they started to play together on uh, telephone, on Discord. And at the end of the day, we received an invitation from them. And uh, they will, uh, like, Oina Kazan, they have, like, uh, met in Oina Kazan. They, they are getting married, so we have sent flowers to their weddings. And they told us, we are going to put our name, a child, our child's names, Oya and Khan, which is, like, produced from Oina Kazan. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So, yeah. So it was an amazing... Uh, That's pretty special story for for us yeah. and we also have seen lots of dates but uh, marriage was a ex yeah. exceptional <laughs> yeah no i think that's really special i think like at the end of the day like there's the enjoyment of the game there's the earning potential um i think ultimately you know we, we all come here together to, to be part of community to connect whether it's the bnb chain ecosystem um the trivins ecosystem and i think that is that's one of the the best utility utility of it, of it all right to be playing together yeah. in one big in one as part of one big community so i think that's that's incredibly yeah. exciting and we're all yeah uh, he said yeah he said i won the biggest award on the history of trivia <laughs> well that's yeah right. I, yeah <laughs> I, I think that that's that's fair to say I and mean, that's definitely um <laughs> it'd be hard to top that one we'll we'll see um but yes i think uh yeah being part of that community is is a big thing and we're all eagerly anticipating the launch uh on the 30th of august uh, and as you said, right, uh, live on the Apple App Store, live on the, the Google Play Store. Google Play Store, so, yeah. So everyone can download, uh, engage, and and start playing. And, and for those who, who have the best knowledge, uh, can compete and, and earn additional income as well. So I think um, a great community to be part of. So with that, I know we are at time. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to everyone who is tuning in from all over the world. We've seen people from North America, APAC, um, Europe, Central Asia, so on and so forth. I mean, many parts of the world. Uh, and for the continents and the countries where people didn't give shout outs, welcome. As well. I'm glad you joined. I, I don't know where or else you're, you're tuning in from. So thank you all. Uh, please do stay tuned on all the updates uh, coming from BB Chain and Trivians. Actually, Khan, for those uh, who don't know, what is the Twitter handle or what, what's the best social media channels for people to follow Trivians for those who are here today? Let's play Trivians on Twitter. Like we make all the announcements on Twitter. It's just play Trivians. Play Trivians. Uh, right. Yeah, play Trivians. Straightforward. Play Trivians. It's good. Fantastic. There you go. Play <laughs> Trivians. And of course, a very, very big thank you to you, Khan. Thank you so much for, for joining, sharing your story, answering the questions that I have. You're, you're welcome. It was an amazing chat. It was and, an amazing um, conversation. So very thank, you, thank, thank you for your amazing host. As well. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you as well to Tiana, who uh, is backstage helping with all of this and making this all happen. So, so thank you all. Uh, have a great day, uh, depending on your time zone. And we look forward to the big launch on the 30th of August.